Welcome to UNF Now on UNF TV. I'm Kayla Kubart. For those of you who didn't get yesterday's trivia question, we got a brand one, brand new one for you today. What does the number 57 represent on the Heinz ketchup bottle? Again, what does the number 57 represent on the Heinz ketchup bottle? Submit your answers on unf-tv.com. The answer will be revealed later today. Who would have thought that wearing certain clothing and shoes can tone your body? Well, Reebok did. Now they have to pay back $25 million in customer refunds for false advertising. Reebok had claimed that the easy tone shoes could get you in shape versus the average shoe, yet they had no true evidence to support their claim. Their shoes are still on the market, but Reebok will be forced to change how they advertise the shoes. Apple will be receiving some competition on November 17th. Four new Kindle devices by Amazon were introduced yesterday that will be giving Apple's iPad 2 a run for their money. The new Kindle is advertised as more of a media consumption device rather than the iPad's computer-like device. The biggest perk to the Kindle is how cheap they are. The iPad is around $500, whereas the most expensive of the four Kindles is $199. It is also lighter and more wireless than other devices. You don't even need a USB cable to connect to a computer. This is either going to cause Apple to lower the price of the iPad 2 or create a new version of the iPad. Either way, it's a win-win for customers. We should be expecting a bit of cool down this week. Let's see if it will happen today on the UNF Now Weather Report. Next Monday kicks off Mental Health Week at UNF. The Counseling Center and Health Promotions will be raising awareness and providing information about mental health for those on and off campus. Their events include tabling at the UNF Plaza, a screening of the movie Mad Love, and a performance by the Drama Department. There will be beverages, snacks, and giveaways at the event. For more information, go to our website at unf-tv.com. Let's check in on a big announcement from the Sharks and the rest of our sporting news with the UNF Now Sports Report. Sports Report, I'm Matt Ziegler. We've got a full slate of news for you, so let's get right into it. Less than 72 hours after Aaron Garcia and the Jacksonville Sharks parted ways, the team announced Chris Leak as the newest member of the Sharks. The team held a press conference on Wednesday to announce the acquisition. A three-year starter with the Florida Gators, Leak finished his career at UF with over 8,000 passing yards, 75 total touchdowns, and a victory in the 2007 BCS National Championship. Leak has spent the last three years in the CFL, playing in Hamilton, Winnipeg, and Saskatchewan, before finally signing with the Sharks. The Florida Marlins parent team to our Jacksonville Suns will be undergoing some major changes next year. This includes moving into a brand new stadium, changing their name to the Miami Marlins, and now they will be led by ex-White Sox manager Ozzie Guillen. The Guillen announcement came yesterday, a day after former manager Jack McKeon announced his retirement from baseball. His contract will be worth $16 million over four years, as the Marlins expect to vie for contention right away in the competitive National League East division. With his Spanish heritage and long family lineage in baseball, Guillen is sure to be a good fit in Miami. The men's soccer team will be on the road tonight, facing off against Mercer at 7 o'clock. Having lost six in a row, the team looks to rebound tonight in their first conference game against a tough opponent. With some solid play in the coming weeks, the team can still make a solid run in the A-Sun tournament, which doesn't begin until November. So if you see any soccer players around campus, wish them good luck and give them a good swoop. Senior Aaron Nixon of the women's cross-country team has been named the Atlantic Sun Conference Runner of the Week for a performance in last weekend's Seminole Invitational Meet. Nixon finished fourth among 164 runners to lead the Ospreys to their second consecutive first place finish. This is Nixon's first Runner of the Week award and the first one for UNF since 2007. Nixon and the conference leading Ospreys head to Titusville for the FLRunners.com meet tomorrow night. So Kayla, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, probably watching the big game. Which one? The Florida-Alabama game. Oh, you're a Florida fan? Yes, I am. No way. Well, good luck. Go Gators. That's right. Well, thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to go on unf-tv.com and answer our question of the day. That question again is, what does the number 2057 represent on the Heinz ketchup bottle? Have a great day, UNF.